In this video, we're going to show you how to add extensions to Elastix 2.5. First, we're starting off the dashboard. We're going to want to switch over to the PBX button up here. On the left hand side, you'll see all the different commands you can run. On extensions, we're already here. Now we're going to add an extension. There's already a couple of them made. So we're going to add 703. So it's a generic SIP device. We click on Submit. We'll just call it 703. Display name for the moment, we'll just call it Test. Not going to do anything fancy here. And you can see here, it's an automatically generated um, password. Very complicated, so you're going to want to copy and paste this into the configuration on your phone. If you're going to be adding any voicemails, this is where you would do it. Enable or disable your voicemail. For your voicemail password, you can put anything you want. It could be 1234, it could be 0000, whatever custom number you want. Keep it about four digits just to make it easy for the end user. If there's going to be email sent out, you would enter the email address here. This is what you would click to attach the email attach the voicemail to the email. If you want to delete the voicemail after it has been emailed, you click on this. We're not going to worry about this right now. We'll just disable it. And then what happens if it's not going to be answered? Optional destinations, you can add all this. And when you're done, click on Submit. See, it's now come through. Now it doesn't actually take effect until you hit apply config. And we're done. You can see test 703 has been added. So that is how you add extensions to Elastics. Thanks for watching this video.